Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well, and I'm so excited to be back today for another video because I haven't posted in a little bit. I've been very sick, and you might be able to still hear it in my voice. It's definitely a lot better today, but I am back because I need to talk to you guys about August because August was my best month of sales ever, and it was so exciting as the month kept on going just seeing the complete shift from July 2022 to August 2022, it was literally like night and day. So just to give you a little idea, in July of 2022, my total sales were right around $2,500, $2,563. So $2,500 and it was horrible and not horrible. Like that's, I'm thankful for that, but as a main source of income, it was not good. And so at the end of the day, my net profit was like $1,800. And I literally made a whole video talking about like, should I quit? That compared to August was like night and day. I literally on Poshmark, I made more in the first like couple days of August on Poshmark than I did in all of July. I don't know if July is just a slow time. I need to know that for the future, but this month was so much better. So let's talk about the numbers. We're going to talk about my total sales numbers, how much I sold on each of my platforms. I sold on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay. Those are my main ones. And I tried Whatnot for the first time this last month. I didn't sell very much there, but I'll talk about that. And then I'm also gonna break down my total profit, my gross profit, my net profit. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a fun video. And I'm also gonna show you guys my biggest sales of the month. So that'll be fun to look at for sure. And I'll put some pictures up on the screen so you guys can see the things that I sold this month. But let's jump into the numbers because it is such a blessing and it went so much better this last month. So let me know in the comments down below if August was also good for you. I would love to hear how it went for you guys as well. So let's look at total sales. So for context, my best month before this, I think I sold maybe a dress right under $3,000, right around $3,000. And it's been my goal to hit around 4,000. That would be my ideal amount to be selling each month. So today, this is my first month where I actually hit that number, which is so exciting. So in total, my total sales for August 2022 were $4,679.89, which is like so good for me. I know some people make a lot more than that. Some people have employees. Some people, you know, devote so much time and effort to reselling. For me, that's a really good number. And I'm really excited to share that with you guys. So almost $4,700 in sales, which is amazing. From Poshmark, we made $3,952. So almost $4,000 from Poshmark, which is blowing away any other month I've ever had on Poshmark. This also included my highest sale of all time where I sold selling for $500. Even without that $500 sale, $3,400 on Poshmark is still blowing away all of my other months. So August was a really good month. I wonder if that's because it was back to school time. I'm not really sure what the reason why it was, but I'm really happy with it. So I sold almost $4,000 on Poshmark. On eBay, I sold $518.89. And because I didn't cross list nearly as much this month, but I really saw the, the, you know, the fruits of that labor from the past this month on eBay. Mercari, I only sold $162, so that's really far down from normal. Again, I wasn't cross-posting nearly as much because GU got here, and then at the end of August, I was pretty sick. So, and then I also did my first whatnot show where I sold $47 worth of items while I was sick. So that was very interesting, but in total, all of those things add up to the $4,679.89 that we sold in total from all of our different platforms in the month of August, which is incredible like i'm so excited about that not just like i'm like so happy because it's a lot of money but i'm just like proud of myself for how hard i've worked to get to this point and i'm just really thankful that things turned around because i really was feeling discouraged about how i was doing with reselling and it's hard to share my life and share all of my numbers and things with you guys online when i feel like i'm not doing well enough to actually be like you know imparting wisdom to other people so that was a really exciting number to hit and I'm really happy with it. So let's talk about the profit from each place. So in total, our profit was $3,670 and four cents. And so we lost about a thousand dollars just in marketplaces taking their fees. It really wants, it really makes me want to look into like selling on my own site. But I know that part of the attraction of selling on something like eBay or Poshmark is that 
there's already a lot of traffic there. So it would have to be, I would have to get a much larger following to be able to just sell myself. And I do do some like direct to you guys sales, which is so exciting. I had some really good ones already this month in September. So thank you guys if you watch and buy from me directly, that's really nice. Um, but we did lose quite a bit to those fees, but that's okay. If I was feeling better, I think I would go through and figure out my cost of goods, but I just, that requires a lot of brain power and my brain is absolute mush. Compared to any other month where we make about $1,500 worth of profit at the end of the day, $3,600 of profit is absolutely amazing. So good. And our cost of goods for each item, most of the things that I sell are from the bins or I get for pretty cheap at some thrift stores near me. So my average cost of goods ranges from like a dollar to five dollars usually. I don't usually pay more than that. We sold 114 items in total across all of our platforms, which last month we sold 63 items. So we sold double almost the amount of items this month. So on my Poshmark, I sold 78 items, which is more than I sold in total out of all of my platforms last month. Jeremy sold 12 items on his Poshmark. I sold five items on Mercari. I sold 11 items on eBay and then eight items on whatnot. So 114 items for $4,679.89 of sales means that our average cost of goods was right around $41, which is so good. Like I am raising that average sales price of my items each month, little by little. So getting up to $40 per item is really exciting, especially since I have such a low cost of goods. A lot of people have a high average sales price, but they're also doing liquidation or they're buying things from retailers that they are paying a lot more for. So that is really good. So those are our overview numbers, which are really exciting. Very happy to share all those numbers with you guys. I know this might not be coming across as well because I don't feel super great, but like I am so excited, so happy, and I feel really proud of myself for that. Now I'm gonna bring out my laptop. We're gonna jump into individual sales. So I'm gonna share with you guys our individual sales that sold for $40 or more this month, which is a lot. There are tons of things that we sold for a good amount of money this month. So honestly, I might even have to raise it to like $50 or more because we have a lot of things to go through. Let me know down below. I never know when I'm filming my month in review videos. I do this every month, what sold last month. Do you guys like to see these individual sales? And if so, what amount would be helpful to see what I sold over? Like, do you guys like seeing like $40 and above? What sells for that much? Should I make this a whole separate video where I share each month the things that sell for good money? Let me know down below. But we're gonna start here with my Poshmark because I have tons of sales and we're gonna do this pretty quick because there are so many to get through and I think that seeing the brands, hearing what pieces sell is really important and really helpful if you are a reseller or if you're just like thrifting, you wanna know what actually sells, that's really exciting too. So I'm gonna put pictures up on the screen. Let's start with this top. This was a Polo Ralph Lauren like red sweater. Fairly confident I got this in the bin so probably about a dollar in my cost of goods. Sold it for $50, so not too bad. A $50 sale from anything in the bins is a huge win in my mind. After Poshmark took its fees, we took $40 in profit home, which is great. The next thing that sold was another bins pickup. It was this pair of Doc Martin sandals. I don't think these have even made it to the buyer yet. These have been in transit for so long, but I sold them for $40 and we made $30 in profit. And these, I actually bought some of that Doc Martens like Wonder Balsam, I think that's what it's called, the leather like conditioner. And I conditioned these in a lot of other leather items and a few of those have sold because of that. So that was definitely a worthwhile investment. But this pair of Doc Martens was, they were really cool. They were this like vintage, like slide on pair. They're so, they were so nice. But we sold them for $40. And then another pair of shoes that I cleaned was this pair of Hoka's. I found these at Second Avenue and a pair of pink ones as well. I sold both of them this month. So I sold the, Polka, the Hoka blue and pink ones for $48. We made $36.88 off of those tennis shoes. Then next up we have another bins pickup, which was this Madewell Lombard like purple cardigan. It was a wool, I think a wool, maybe alpaca blend. And I got this in the bins and I sold it for $52 this month. So we made $39.88, which is great any bins pickups I feel like are wins <laughs> just at all like selling for 50 bucks anything again the bins is amazing now this was a really high sale and really exciting I picked up for the first time Brahmin this Brahmin blue purse I told you guys that blue was actually a good keyword for Brahmin leather bags 
And this sold, I think I sent an automatic offer with Posture VA, love Posture VA, gonna plug them real quick, not sponsored, but they literally are life-changing. I know that Poshmark has rolled out this feature where you can, you know, bulk share your listings. It's really kind of not everything that it should be. Um, it's not that helpful if you have a large closet. Posture VA, literally, I list and delist my items with them and I also have it share all of my listings multiple times a day and it's so worth it to me. I have a link in the description where you can get 20% off your first month. Definitely worth trying. I would highly recommend it. Definitely the biggest, biggest and best thing that's helped my business. But they sent out an automatic offer on this Brahmin purse and I sold it for $96 within like a day or two of having it listed. So we made $75.08 off of that purse, which is great. Then this next thing is a pair of teaks I got in the bins. The only time I've ever found teaks, they were this silver metallic pewter color and they were not in great condition, but they still sold for $68 and we made $52.68, which is really good. They sat for months, but we did sell them eventually. Then the next thing is this vintage Irish funky colorful abstract knit sweater, another bins pickup. So about a dollar in my cost of goods. We sold it for $55 outright and we made $44 from the profit on that. And then we sold the pair of Ugg rain boots. These were the Shea rain boot. They were in a size eight and they were in great condition, a really beautiful blue color. And we sold them for $65 outright. So we made $52 in profit on those. I'm pretty sure that these were also a bins pickup. So excellent find for sure. Next up, we have the pair of Converse I picked up in the bins. And this is the first pair of Converse I've picked up in a long time. I picked these up because they were really unique. They were this orange and gray sneaker in a size men's 10. They sold outright for $40. So we made $32 off of those. And then we had this pair of Madewell Cali Demi Boot jeans in the Quince wash. They were butt in front, size 25. I think I got these at Second Avenue and we sold them for $40 on an offer. And so we made $32 off of those. But the thing about that is I paid more for those than I did for those Converse sneakers and we made the same amount from both of them. So things where the bins can really go for a good amount. Then next up I have this vintage 1980s Coca-Cola turtleneck sweatshirt in a size large. I actually had a viewer buy this. So if this was you, thank you so much for purchasing from me. You guys are always the sweetest when I, I love seeing your comments on your bundles and things saying that you came from my videos. You guys are all so amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching and for purchasing from me sometimes. I think it's so nice. But we sold this in a bundle, I'm pretty sure, for $40. And then we made $30.28 from that. And that was something I got in the bins. So that was a great pickup. And then we sold this bins pickup. These are like so many things from the bins. The bins things, I always find the best things in the bins. I don't know, I just have a good eye and a good feel for high quality items. And so I find some good things that really do sell for a lot from the bins. But this was this vintage white ruffled Victorian style nightgown is a size medium and it sold for $40. So we made $30.28. Then it was followed by another night piece, another pair of pajamas. These are the Victoria's Secret Country ribbed lace trimmed pajama set. They're in a size medium. I got these at Second Avenue. I didn't pay a lot for them. I think I paid like five bucks or something like that. But Victoria's Secret Country is apparently a good bolo to be on the lookout for. I would totally pick it up again. They sold pretty quickly for 40 bucks and we made $30.28. Then another piece I picked up from Second Avenue was this People for Peace embellished pair of jeans. They had a butterfly and they had love written on the booty. They were in a size 25, which is small but I did sell them for $55. They made an offer to me, and so I sold them for $55. We made $44, but they were a really cool pair of like kind of 70s-ish denim, which was really sweet. And then a pair of Danskos. I kind of have been sleeping on Danskos. I found so many of them and they took so long to sell, but now when I find them, I feel like they've been selling quicker. So I picked up this pair of red ones that were in a red leather, size 40, really good size. And they were in great shape. I found them in the bins and I sold them for $52. So I kind of have been on the lookout again for dance goes because of that. But from that $52, we made $39.88 for a bins pickup. So again, super great pickup. 
very excited about that one. And now something I've been really using a lot with Posture VA actually is each day I've been relisting and delisting like a couple pieces from my closet every day, usually like around 15 items, I go in and I use it to take down old items and read, like re put them up to relist them. And it's really been helping me sell a lot of older stale inventory. This next piece is an example of that. This is a pair of Sorel leather and waterproof boots. Very short title. You can tell from that that this is an old piece because Poshmark used to have a lot more restrictions on your character limit. But these sold outright once I relisted them for $85 and we made $68 from them. These are a pair of Sorel boots I picked up in the bins, which is amazing. They sat for a while, but eventually they sold, which is what we are looking for. Now, this next piece is my highest sale of all time. I shared about this in a different video as well, but if you missed it, this is very exciting. I found this vintage Jean-Paul Gaultier mesh dress at Second Avenue Thrift Store. It was so exciting. It was in a size medium. It had this like Japanese print on it. Could not for the life of me find any stock photos or any other ones like it. It was full length. I listed it at $850, which was pretty reasonable. Something very similar to it sold for that amount pretty recently, but I got an offer within a few days for $500 on Poshmark. So I decided to accept that. So we sold it for $500. It went to Poshmark for authentication. That's my first time ever having to send anything to Poshmark because I've never sold selling for $500. Um, once you sell anything for $500, it always goes to Poshmark for authentication first before going to the, the actual buyer. But it was authenticated, it was real, and then we sent it over to the buyer and we made $400 off of that dress that I paid $7.29 for. So that is definitely my biggest, my biggest flip of all time. And I am really happy with that. And now every time I go to any store, I'm always looking for pieces like that. I think it's really exciting. This next piece is a dress that I picked up when I found all these designer pieces all in the same size at a Goodwill. It was this Ted Baker dress. It's in a size two from Ted Baker, which is like a four to six size in America. But I listed it at $100 and within a day I got an offer for $75. So I decided to accept that. And then we made $60 off of that. Then that same trip, I also got this Diane von Furstenberg dress. It was a silk dress and it was also the very like popular one, the chain link print. It was in a size zero, so I thought it might take a while to sell, but it, it, it did not. It sold pretty quickly. I got a few offers for it right away, but then I sold it within a day or two for $100, which is great. And we made $80 off of that. So those dresses went really, really quickly and I would love to find more things like that again at the thrift. Then the next things that sold were these two pairs of Aritzia. They're from the brand Wilfred from Aritzia. They're wool and cashmere high waist trousers, both in a size 10. I sold one pair a month or two ago. They were black for I think $80, but this person bundled both of them. So I gave them to them for $100 for both. So $50 a pair. I got them in the bins, which is great. So we made $40 off of each pair and I probably paid a dollar for each one. So $2 into them, we made $78. Not too bad at all. Okay, I had to take a small break. It's actually the next day because I had to give my throat a rest, but I'm ready to jump back in and share with you guys all the other pieces that sold for $40 or more. We have a few more pieces here in my Poshmark then we're gonna jump into Jeremy's Poshmark, my Mercari, and my eBay as well. So. The next thing that sold was this new tag city chic not front dress let me scoot over so you can see it and this was a good brand i picked this up because mogi beth talked about this brand and it sat for a long time so i don't know if i would highly recommend picking this up especially if you're paying up for it but i had it listed at 65 dollars. it sold for 42 dollars, and then we made 33 dollars and 60 cents off of it so if I found it again for a cheap price, knowing that it might not sell quickly, I would probably pick it up again. But that's the kind of knowledge I would wanna have going in is that it's not gonna be a fast mover. So just having that in mind is helpful. And the next thing that sold was this pair of Fry Canvas sneakers. And these are a slip-on canvas sneaker, but these are another thing that sat for a while. They were a full price sale though, after I relisted them. So that is probably my biggest advice. If you guys are struggling with your sales, this is the first month where I really, almost every day, I relisted using Posture VA. 
and it was life-changing. It really helped us with so much sale inventory. So these were full price sale at $65 and from that $65 we made $52 from this pair of fry sneakers. I picked these up in Annapolis probably a few months ago and I didn't pay very much for them. So it was a good sale for us. And then this next piece is actually something that came from my closet. I purchased it originally from Poshmark as well. And it was a Free People Easy Street sweater in blue, a size large. And I love this sweater. I own it in white and pink as well. And I love them and I wear them all the time. I just felt that I never wore the blue one. It's just not my color. And so I decided to sell it. I bought it for a pretty good price on Poshmark and I sold it for more than I paid for it. I listed it at $80 and I sold it for $64. And then we made $49.48, which is pretty much what with like taxes and shipping, how much I paid for my sweater originally. So that was a good sale. And that's a very popular style from Free People. So if you ever see the Easy Street sweater, definitely pick it up if you can find it at a good price. And then next up is this pair of figs. It was a set. And I was kind of wary because I didn't know if I should list them separately or individual. And I get a lot of questions about this actually, is that if you find a set, but they're in two different sizes, do I list them together or do I list them separately? And my advice is to list them together unless they're very, very different. Because I find that they often do still sell in a set and it makes it a little easier sometimes. So I listed the set at $60 and I sold it for $40 and we made $32 off of a top that was in a size extra small and the bottoms were in a medium petite. So that was a very interesting size and combination, but it still sold together. So that's great. And then this next thing that sold was an Eileen Fisher piece. I love Eileen Fisher. You guys are always hearing me say how much I love selling this brand. This was a purple piece in a size extra large. This did not sit for very long. I listed it at $50, we sold it for $45, and I made $36 off of that sale. I'm fairly confident I bought it for like four bucks at Second Avenue, so that was a good one. And then another Eileen Fisher sale right after that one. This was in a 100% silk piece, and it was a berry color, size large. I had a lot of interest in this piece, and I listed it at $80 because it was 100% silk and it was a beautiful piece, but I sold it at 64, which is a great sale, which gave us $49.48. And I think I got this also at Second Avenue a different time. So two Eileen Fisher pieces, both sold for over $50. That's not bad at all. So I love that brand. It really does do really well for me. I like it. I know a lot of people pass on it, but I love Eileen Fisher. This next one is a Vera Wang square neck ruched side white dress. It was a size four. I was lucky enough to be able to find a, not stock photo, but a real, real photo of the same dress. So they were selling it on there and I listed it at $119. I only had it up for a day, I believe, before I got an offer for $78. So $78, I made $62.40 and I think I paid something around like $5 for this dress. So Vera Wang, not Vera by Vera Wang, that is a diffusion line, but Vera Wang, a designer piece, does do well. So that's something to be on the lookout for. And then this is the other pair of Hoka's that I mentioned that sold this month. They were a pink pair. I got them at the same time as the blue ones. These were in a women's size 10 and these sold for $40. They sold for less than the blue pair, but I had so much interest in this pink pair of shoes. I had so many, like so many offers. I eventually just took a $40 offer. I had them listed at 65, but we made $32 and I paid, I think, $4.99 for those. So that was also a good sale. And then the last thing that sold on my Poshmark is this new tags pair of Anthropology Pilk on the Letterpress Folio Jeans. They were in a size 31 and this was an outright sale at $85. So I got these at, I think, Second Avenue for probably about $6. Um, and then I sold them outright at $85 and made $68. So about $60 and those were up for less than a week. So great Poshmark sales, very excited with all of those. Now let's jump into my eBay sales. So on eBay, I sold 11 items. And of those 11 items, I had one, two, three, four items that sold for above that $40 mark. A lot of them sold for right around $40 with, especially with shipping added on, but I'm just gonna talk about four different sales here today. The first one is this Vintage Nightline 100% Silk Sequin Jacket. It was in a size medium. I got this at a garage sale over a year ago and it has been sitting, but I just listed it on eBay and it sold within a few days on eBay. So I had it for a year sitting on Poshmark, moved it over to eBay with Vendu, and then I sold it for $45 on eBay. 
So that was a great sale. And then I also sold three different quilts this month on eBay. I have a whole closet downstairs in the basement, of course, sitting with quilts in it that I've picked up in the bins. But quilts are a little bit more like time intensive for me to list. I need to put them on the bed and style them and try to make them look cute. So I picked out three quilts and I put those on the bed. I took pictures of them and I listed them this month and I put them on an eBay auction, each one, and all three of them sold this month. So that was great. One sold for 35, one sold for 39, and the one I was gonna talk about sold for 51. And this was a really good quilt and a really good sale. I found all of these in the bins. So these were all great sales. But this one was this vintage Americana quilt. And this Americana quilt had a lot of bids and a lot of interest in it and it eventually sold at $51. I feel like I probably could have made my starting bid higher for this quilt, but I think I started at like $30, $35, and then it sold for $51. So it had quite a few bids, and it was a great sale. I mean, I paid a dollar or two for that in the bins, so I was very happy with that sale, but apparently like that Americana style is pretty popular, so grabbed that, and then I have two more eBay sales. This was a new with tags, Lily Pulitzer Shaylin Cover Up in Lemon Drop, size medium. It's a one sleeve dress that sold for $69 on eBay. So another good sale. I think I probably could have gotten more for it on a different platform. I find that I sell things for less on eBay, but they sell more quickly. So it's kind of like the trade off that you have to give. If you wanted to sell quickly, you might not make as much money. If you want to sell it for more, you're going to have to wait a while. So. For that one, I just took the sale because I'm also trying to get more reviews on eBay. And then I also sold a new with tags Anthropology Arian Alley dress that I actually got at Anthropology. I was thinking maybe for myself, I picked it up for $10 and I sold it for $45. So a pretty good turnaround. Not my best sale of all time. I think I could have gotten more on a different platform, but again, I was trying to build up some of my reviews. So I decided to take that offer. I don't know if I would do that again, but what can you do? Now moving on to Mercari, I only have one sale I'm going to talk about on here that was over $40. This one sold for $69. It was this new with tags, Dooney and Burke, Baltimore Ravens leather wallet. It was new with tags. It was originally over $100 and it sold for $69 on Mercari, which means we made $59.80, which is an amazing sale. And I paid not very much for this. I used in-store credit at my local buy, sell, trade store with things that I'd gotten in the bins. So that was a really good sale for us. And then we're moving on to Jeremy's Poshmark sales. And he has a few on here that we're gonna talk about. This piece I got at a local Goodwill. It's the Anthropology James Coviello yellow floral tea length gown in a size zero. There was a lot of good comps for this, selling around $50. It took a couple months to sell. It sat for a long time. I listed at $65, sold it at 50, which is what I was expecting, and we made $40 off of that dress. And then the next thing he sold was this Kate Spade Lawton Way Rose Tote Deep Plum Tote Bag from Kate Spade. This is a piece that I picked up at the Uptown Cheapskate sale where they're having like 70 and 90% off all of these different tagged items. I paid $10 for this bag and I sold it for $65. So I had it listed at 90. Jeremy took an offer for 65 we made $52. So we made 40 bucks on that purse. And then he also sold, he had a lot of good sales. He sold this new with tags, Ganny green and brown long sleeve dress in a size 40 or size eight. And this was a good sale. I had it listed at $120 and he accepted an offer for $80. This was new with tags. It had been sitting for months. I got it at Buffalo exchange in Philadelphia. And I think at this point, I think I paid like $12 for it, which was a great price. We made $64 off of that. So that was really cute. And I would pick up Ganny again. I actually sold my only other piece I've ever found of Ganny this month as well. Not for very much. It was 30 bucks that I sold a skirt for, but I got it in the bins. So that was a good pickup as well. But then I also, he sold this Vince Burgundy 100% cashmere sweater. I picked this up again months ago and then he sold it finally on his Poshmark for $60. I had it listed at 90 and this is something I picked up in the bins. So that was a great pickup and it took a while to sell. As the seasons change, some of these pieces are gonna start moving now again. I find that I pick up a lot of winter and fall heavy items and sometimes those things just take a long time to sell. And, a lot, and also, you know, in July, in the summer months, People are usually picking up things that are gonna be less expensive because that's just how summer clothes go. They're smaller, they're shorter, they don't have sleeves, things like that. So now we have one more piece that he sold, which is actually exciting because this brand actually reached out to me and wants to work with me, which is a Zazi, which is fun. 
We'll see if I work with them or not, but this is a new at Tags bridesmaid dress in a size 28 that I found at a Goodwill. I think I paid $7 for this dress and we sold it outright for $67, which is great. So we made $53.60. These dresses usually cost at least a hundred bucks. So it's still a good deal for them. New at Tags, no changes made to it. Great deal all around and we made 50 bucks off of that dress. So pretty good sales this month, I would say guys. So that was a lot of amazing sales all for $40 or more. Maybe next month I'm gonna have to limit it to $50 or more, let's hope. I mean, I keep on raising my average sales price. I've been selling more and more items. Things have been going really well, so I'm really thankful. We'll see how this month does, but August was a good month for us. I hope it was a good month for you as well, even if you're not a reseller. I hope it was just a great month and that you had a great time in the end of your summer or beginning of your school year, whatever the year brought to you in August. But that was my month in review. We looked at numbers, we looked at sales. Let me know what your guys' favorite sale was from your own closet. If you guys are a reseller or if you're not a reseller, what was your favorite find of the month? Did you thrift something? Did you buy something for back to school or for your kids? Like, I wanna hear what you guys have been finding, what you guys have been selling. I'm excited to hear it down in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed, I would absolutely love it if you would hit that subscribe button and join me on my channel. I'd love to have you here as a friend for life. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.